I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Doing It All, episode 24. I had to check real quick. So, uh, didn't release a video on Saturday, as some or all of you may have noticed. I was really sick, uh, super dizzy, super nauseous, all that good stuff. But, uh, now I'm back, and it's been a while since I recorded, but here, here we go. So, in this one, I don't really remember what we do. I think we finished the crab pot bundle because we have a crab pot and now we can actually catch the things from the crab pot. So, we get that done and we probably mine a bit, maybe catch a lava eel, something along those lines. Oh yeah, we buy more chickens as well, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. Now we have eight chickens and I believe I got at least one brown chicken, so that should be fairly good. We'll be able to get the uh, a large brown egg for the bundle and we will be able to just have more eggs I guess so that we can give more mayonnaise to people. It does mean that we have to process more each day but we get eight mayonnaise a day which means that we get enough mayonnaise to give everybody their gifts in like four days out of the week. I think there's, there's something like 20 villagers I think that like mayonnaise. So I have to get 40 per week, and if I get 8 then, or 8 per day, per day, excuse me, then that means I get 40 per week, or at least 40 in 5 days, and then I get an extra 16 of, like, overflow, plus I need to upgrade my house, but the money from selling mayonnaise should help with that a bit, and as we move into late fall and early winter, we should be getting closer to our various goals. The Stardew Valley Ferry is coming up fairly soon. We have that coming in about a week, I think, from the end of this video. Not a week in real life, but like a week in game. So we'll be able to do that. We have to pick up the Rare Crow there for some stars. We have to pick up the Star Drop for some stars. And also... Actually, I think that might be it. We just really have to uh, pick up the star, star drop and the rare crow. Our sweet gem berry is still growing. I don't really have to tend to it at all. It's within the radius of our rare crows, so there's no chance that a crow will come and eat it. And we can just wait because we have a uh, sprinkler watering it. So after, you know, 20 days, because it takes 24 days to grow, and it's been about 8 maybe seven. So in like 17 days we will have our sweet gem berry. We can take that into the secret woods which we've of course already opened and we'll get another star drop there. We're also getting fairly close as you guys may know to getting the star drop from Krobus. We just have to get 20,000 gold and go into the sewers. So that one should be fairly soon. I've also heard that if you find the mushroom floor in the mines. Somebody posted a comment on a video that's like a month and a half old, but if you, if I can find the mushroom floor in the mines, which spawns after floor 80, if it's like suitably close to a, like a elevator floor, then I can just keep going there. It stays on the same level, but it refreshes. Supposedly I can get a lot of money by just doing that over and over. We do have the ability to go past floor 80, of course, so I will check, like I'll start trying to look for the mushroom floor and then maybe we can get some money that way. Plus if we can get our foraging up, one of the new perks for getting to 10 foraging, it's not really a new perk, it's more of a overhauled old perk, but essentially the gatherer perk, I believe it's called, the one that, like you take the one that isn't wood value up at level five, and then you take the, I think it's called Gatherer maybe, at level 10, but essentially it makes it so that all foraged goods that you pick up are Iridium quality. And that's pretty decent. That'll make things worth twice as much as they would be without any quality, of course. And that means that we can get even more money from our Mushroom Floor adventures if we can manage to find it. And I don't know if you guys have noticed the uh, change in voice style here. I moved my microphone up and I'm being a bit quieter because my 
voice is still out a bit, still kind of scratchy from when I was sick over the weekend. And by sick over the weekend, I of course mean on Saturday, because I was mostly better on Sunday except my throat really hurt, and now it's pretty much gone away. Except that I woke up like two hours ago, and until this video hadn't really talked at all today. So, my voice, still a little bit out of it, but uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Also, we catch the lava eel here, I think. Sounds about right. Takes long enough, after all. Uh, the lava eel is really hard to catch. It's easily in the top five hardest fish to catch in the game, I believe. And that means that we have now finished off all of the fish in the mines. We've caught the stonefish, the ice pip, the lava eel, and the ghost fish. So, there's nothing else left for us to catch in the mines. The only other any season fish I believe that we have to catch are in the desert, being the wood scorp- or the... I was thinking of the wood skip, the... Sandfish and the scorpion carp. That's the two we have to catch in the desert. So we'll probably be able to get to those fairly soon. Again, we have to get like 42,500 gold for that, which will happen eventually. Other than that though, we're coming up on the end of the video here, so if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, leave a comment. If you aren't already subscribed, I really recommend it. You get these videos straight to your inbox every day at 12 p.m. And share this video with anybody who you think might enjoy it. It really helps out. But other than that, I'll see you guys all next time.